Hey, what's up guys? This is Matthew, and if you're viewing this video, then thank you for tuning into Matthew's List. If you don't know who I am, go ahead and check out my introduction video in my channel to the left. It also has contest information on how to enter yourself in a free drawing for $20 worth of iTunes music. So today's video will be a video review of the Dell Inspiron 1564 laptop. It's a $600 baseline model in jet black, and it's going to be showing you how it stacks up to predecessors of the line, and if it's worth your extra hard-earned money. Spoiler alert! It's friggin' awesome, so enjoy the video. Here are some technical specifications on our baseline model of the Dell Inspiron 1564. It comes fully equipped with Intel's new i3 processor, which features Intel's hyper-threading technology giving it the performance of the very high-end expensive laptop CPUs. It also comes equipped with 4GB of 1066MHz RAM. And the hard drive is 320 gigabytes. This comes in three flavors of 250 gigabytes, R320 gigabytes, and 500 gigabytes. Now it's worth it to note that no matter which version of the hard drive you get, it is not going to go any faster than 5400 rotations per minute. It's also available in three color schemes, jet black, ice blue, and hot pink. So on the body of the 1564, the back and front are completely bare. On older iterations of this, let's say on the 1545, the headphone, microphone, and SD card reader would all be in the front, and if you were trying to just relax and listen to some tunes, and you were, had your headphones plugged in, well, those would plug poke into your stomach, rather. And it's a very welcome addition that they're not there anymore. So, on the left side of the laptop, you have a Kensington lock port, your power source in, your exhaust fan, VGA port, Ethernet port, HDMI out, and one USB 2.0 port. Flipping over to the right side of the laptop, you have your slimmer DVD drive, much slimmer than on the 1545, two USB 2.0 ports, microphone in, headphone in, and 7-in-1 card reader. When you open up the laptop, you realize just how good it is for the $600 price range. You're presented with a very nice brushed metal surface, which is typically only found on more expensive laptops. The buttons for the mouse are very pushed in, so you don't get an annoying clicking sound. The placement of the mouse has been a little bit off-center. As you can see, it's a little bit more contributed toward the left-hand side. It's a little bit of a quirk, but personally, once you use it for a couple hours, you get over it. One thing I really like about this laptop is it does not have any multimedia keys up here. Those things are just completely ugly, and they don't even work half of the time. They've been replaced with a singular power button, and all the function keys have been put on through the F1, through F5, and then the F7 through the F11, with another button up here to enable and disable the trackpad. Let's take another look at the keyboard a little bit closer up. As I said, most of the multimedia functions have been put on the function keys themselves. Up here next to the escape you have your display key. F2 is to enable and disable your wireless card. F3 brings up the battery menu in Windows 7. F4 dims the screen's brightness. F5 raises the screen's brightness. F6 is just bare. F7 mutes the sound. F8 lowers the sound. F9 raises the sound. F10 fast rewinds. F11 pauses and plays. And F12 is fast forwards. Again, over here next to F12, you have this small key with an X. Looks kind of like an original Xbox. This enables and disables a trackpad for use. Below the screen are the integrated SRS Premium Sound Speakers. They're integrated speakers, I don't know what to tell you. They're not the best, they probably won't give you the best sound as if you had your headphones plugged in, but for integrated audio and integrated speakers, then they're pretty much the only thing you can ask for. Overall, they're pretty good quality, and I don't mind using them, but again, they're integrated speakers. There's not much you can say on this front. As for the screen choice that Dell decided to go with, they went with a 15.6 inch TrueLight Technology WLED backlit display. The display is at 1366 by 768 for an effective 720p resolution. I used it for editing raw images in Photoshop and found it suitable for most tasks like that. If you're a professional video editor looking for a mobile workstation, then this probably won't accommodate your needs in the graphical or looks department as for screen quality, but I mean, if you were a professional video editor, then why would you want a $600 laptop anyways? Also above the screen on the screen's bevel is a 1.3 megapixel webcam and a very, very, very terrible microphone. Here's a demonstration of the multitasking capabilities of the 1564. Let's start off by signing into MSN, maybe chat with some of our friends and launch iTunes to watch a 720p trailer on. Let's go to Firefox, maybe want to browse the internet a little bit as well. Uh, go into iTunes, play our movie, we'll use Arrow. 
check out our favorite camera store. Let's open up Bridge. Go back to those photos we took today. All raw photos, of course. Open it up in Photoshop so we can close Bridge from there. Check out our favorite lenses. Chat with our friends on MSN. Then let's go ahead and edit our photo. Turn the volume up a little bit. Chat with our friends. Let's close this window. Close Photoshop. We're done with our photo. Bookmarked our page. And our trailer's done. So we can close iTunes. So. Again, really showing what the i3 can do, really showing what that 4 gigabytes of 1066 megahertz RAM can do. <sighs> that was quite the review. So, let's get to the wrap up of the video review of the Dell and Spron 1564. Overall, absolutely amazing laptop. If you had any hesitations about buying it, please throw them out the window because this laptop is an amazing performer for the $600 price range. You can get it with an i5 processor, Blu-ray player, and an ATI Radeon HD 512MB dedicated video RAM graphics card. That would make this thing a multimedia beast. It's also worth noting that you cannot get that graphics card once you get the baseline model because they use different motherboards. However, Solitaire does look really good on the baseline model. 15.6 inch display, 701 card reader, absolutely amazing, amazing performance. You saw us watch a 720p trailer in... in iTunes, you saw us open with Zell Firefox, MSN, Adobe Bridge, edit a raw file, all at the same time. I know I sound like a salesman here, but please, get this laptop, get it from Dell, get it with Fast Track, get it within two days from them, and this app, this is just an absolutely amazing performing laptop. I was blown away, blown away by how much I got out of a $600 laptop. The i3 processor has really made things a lot different. And it's going to be really interesting to see what manufacturers can come out with in the next couple of years. So, if you like this video, please click subscribe over there. Leave a comment down there. And the most important thing you can do is tell your friends about my channel. The more views my videos get, the more I can pump back into the YouTube community. Remember, we have that $10 iTunes gift card giveaway coming up very soon. And my next video will be a video review of the Low Pro 300 AW camera bag. So, in conclusion... Buy this laptop, it is fantastic. Videos coming up, $10 iTunes gift card giveaway coming up very soon, and tell your friends. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.